at a meeting in Enugu State, the Ohanese Indibo Worldwide says the time has come for the realization of the quest by Igbo to rule Nigeria. Speaking at the meeting, President General of Ohanese Indibu, Professor George Obiozo, says the National Executive Committee of the organization, which was inaugurated in January 2021, has failed to take off due to constraints such as insecurity, the agitation for power shift to Southeast in 2023, the sit at home order by the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, and paucity of funds. Sit at home order. The Monday sit at home order is a, a problem for Nibu. It is strange for a group of a group to face the barrel of the gun inwards. Many people have estimated the good loss the service incurred on a weekly basis as a result of the sit at home order. He also describes the quest for an Igbo presidency in 2023 as morally and historically justifiable. himself or herself. To this end, Ohanese Igbo has made contact with several Nigerian leaders with respect to the rights of Igbo of the Southeast to produce the president for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All the double dealings about zoning or not zoning, maneuvering or the league maroling, about rotation of power, is some, simply orchestrated, uh, orchestrated to deprive the Southeast of the right to produce the president. A chieftain of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Victor Ume, says the Igbo presidency will promote equity and fairness in Nigerian politics. Money. The Southwest has produced Abbasanjo for eight years. Uh, their son is vice president, serving out for eight years. And the election is coming up next year for presidential election. All of them are declaring. I think they're, they're looking for breakup of Nigeria, uh, if I want to put it uh, uh, straightforward. Because if they want Nigeria to be united, they will not be seeking to occupy that office next year. The Igbo leaders are also appealing to President Muhammadu Buhari to find a political solution to the case of the outlawed IPOB leader in Amdi Kanu, who is facing charges for terror-related offences and other youths either in detention or trial on a result of their agitation for Biafra. They say it is the first step towards restoring peace and security in the Southeast. That the release of Mazen in the Kawa and other evil use in detention is the first crucial step towards restoring peace and security in the Southeast. We are convinced that the Namikali issue can only be resolved through dialogue. That we condemn in this entirety the worst security situation in the Southeast and call on all the books to put all hands on the text to halt the situation. Jemima Boloko, Arise News, Enugu.